Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It just helps the channel and also you get those videos and also share with your friends. So today I wanna to kinda of cover all the different cables and wires we use when it comes to programming all these different various vehicles. Um, it is kind of hard to memorize all those vehicles, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to kind of keep track of knowing what, where, and how, and who needs these certain wires. So if we look at some of the most popular, we have the star connector and those CDJ cables, both with the same type of vehicle, just different year range. How do we keep track of that? And then we throw in a thing like a smart aerial. So when we're looking at a vehicle, let's try to declutter our, our situation. Because if we have all this stuff going on, it's very complicated on, do I need to use this, this, this? What do I need to do? So designate your primary, your secondary, your tertiary, and your specialty items. And do you need all these? No. So let's go ahead and clean off the table. The table is clear. Let's go ahead and do this mock programming of a vehicle. So we have a Ram 1500, it's a 2019. It's gonna be using a prox key like this. So let's go ahead and figure out what we need to use for a key. This is an example. So, and then I'll go through all the other ones. So we're just gonna go in here. It used to be under Dodge, but they updated it. Make sure you guys follow Advanced Diagnostics YouTube. Super helpful. Just go ahead and do that. And you scroll down, they have RAM down here. So now we're gonna click on that. And this is a 1500, it's a push button. And let's go ahead and look at this. Let's see if it's on here, 18 through 19 push button. We have all the options down here, which is normal. Let's go ahead and look. So we're gonna be using, what cables does it say? RAM pin bypass. So that's gonna be using the Smart Pro cable, the standard one, and the star connector. This is gonna plug in, and then you plug this and the star connector into the Smart Pro, and you're good. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So that's how we would do that. And then you'd program like normal. It's not gonna show the voltage because you're not plugged into the power source. Let me find a better example for that. So if we look at like say a Dodge Charger 2019 push. Cool, so it's gonna have a mobilizer cable. You're gonna need the ADC 2011. That's gonna be your star connector. You're gonna use Smart Pro, the OBD cable that goes with it, and you're gonna plug the star connector into either by the, this is for a charger, it's either underneath the glove box, cool. Uh, let's check out another one. Let's look at a Grand Caravan. This is always a tricky one because it's a 10 through 20. Mobilizer cable. Just a standard one, because it's a 10 through 20, cool. And a journey, a journey, let's go ahead. Okay, so it shows a mobilizer cable. Again, the ADS 20 or ADC 20. Cool. Now let's look at some other vehicles. Now let's look at a Jeep. A Jeep Compass has some tricky ones. So if we look at a seven through 17 blade, Scroll down, you're gonna see ADC 2000, which is gonna be the standard Smart Pro cable. The 2013 cable, it's very unique. We don't need it because we have other cables that do a wide range of them. Don't worry. Now, if we look at a 2017 to 2018 push start, again, Smart Pro cable. No star connector, even though it's classified as a CDJ. Now we look at a 19 through 20, let's see, same thing. And how it has that plus. That's where we're gonna be using this extra cable. This is gonna go in the headliner in the rear of the vehicle. This is a bypass cable that's gonna connect in the back. And if you really need to, we can click on here and it shows where it goes, cool. So the Smart Pro 
from these guys are gonna basically tell you what, where, and how, and also pay attention, it is a unique key. It's gonna be like a, a center cut, almost like a Fiat or like a, a Dodge. Cool. So that's gonna be for that cable. So keep that stored away. You, you come across this once a month or so. Now let's look at some other vehicles. If we're doing a Kia, if it's like a blade, we don't click on this option. We're gonna click up here and scroll down for a remote. You should already know this. Remotes, cool. Again, not in the vehicle, but that. Now, if it's a push start, then yes, you're going to go through this option. Cool, and the tester, when it says tester, that means that the Smart Pro can read that, or you can get the pin from the dealer. And again, same cable. So let's go back and look at another vehicle. So these Nissans, there's this new Nissan cable that came out. And where is Nissan? Oh, there it is. So now if we're looking at some of the new vehicles, it's like 21 and 22 up. So let's look at Nissan Altima, where it's a 19 through 23. Let's see. Okay, same type of cables, Smart Pro cable, nothing special. And I think it was like a Pathfinder. Let's look. Okay. So we have two options for the Pathfinder, 2022, an oval key or square key. Let's go ahead and click on this one. So we're doing an oval key. Ah. So if you see down here, Smart Pro Cable and the ADC 2017, which is gonna be this bad boy. And again, labeled right there is super nice. So you're gonna plug this in to the BCM. You're not gonna plug it in through the OBD. You plug this in, and again, Advanced Diagnostics has a video on that, super helpful, showing you how to do it. You can get it done like in five minutes. All you do is you plug this in to the piece, the BCM and you're golden. So that's gonna be how you see that new cable. If you try to go through and plug it in here, it says, hey, you can't do that. You need a special cable to plug in that port. Cool. What other Nissan would this be? So let's look at the other one, the square key. Square key, same thing. So it depends on what type of key the customer has. Let's scroll down and look for some others. So we have a Nissan Rogue 21 and 23. Let's see. Okay, using the same type of cable. Cool. So if we use the Smart Pro, uh, actually, let's see if it shows. Okay. So it shows where to plug in the cable along with their, their video, which is super helpful. Cool. So, okay, so that's that square type. Oh, it's a different one. Okay, so that's gonna be very helpful. So now we know that. And let's go ahead and look at that smart aerial. So that's gonna be for like a Volkswagen. So say if we're doing like a Volkswagen, uh, let's look at a 12 through 14. Let's see. So how it says ADC 2000, it's this cable and a smart area. This is the smart aerial. You're gonna plug this in the top, this little port, and you stick the keys in like so. And you can use it for the ProMaster, the Fiat's, like that. And you just follow the Smart Pro. I've done that on a push start Volkswagen. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, no craziness. So yeah, but let's look at another older Volkswagen. Let's look at a, if it's not a push button, let's look at a blade. And it's a regular Smart Pro cable. So Volkswagen Beetle 12 through 14 blade, it's gonna be a standard cable. If we look at a push button, which is gonna look at the same type of key, but just proximity, it's gonna use Smart Aerial. And for that Passat I just did, let's look at that. 
So same thing if we're looking at a, a 13 16 blade, smart aerial, cool. And if we're looking at a push button, smart aerial. So again, it tells you what to do and how to do it. So you're not grabbing all these cables and your desk is not messy. So you have essentially Smart Pro, OBD cable, the one cable you need and the key and you're set so it's less clutter, less memorization. All you have to do is know where to look and it tells you what to do and how. It even shows you pictures, which makes it super easy. Yeah, that's that little proximity sensor for the push charts. If you don't know where that is, you can find it on Google, but all the information's there for you. Cool, hopefully this video has been helpful when it comes to what cables and how to use them. And hopefully you can apply this and be successful yourself. Thanks. See you. Bye.